Greetings all, welcome back to the channel. Today we find ourselves out in the middle of nowhere in southwest Saskatchewan waving off Skeeters because there are storms over yonder and I'm monitoring them and hopefully I can get some lightning tonight. I'm going to put the drone up in the air in a second here so you can see what's around here but uh, just thought I'd mention I've got two drones with me tonight. One is the Mini 3 Pro because I couldn't get the uh, batteries charged up in time for the uh, Nano Plus, but uh, I did get a couple of batteries charged up for the Nano Plus. And what I'm hoping to do tonight is to see how yonder Nano Plus does with After Dark Lightning, because I still don't know that. You might remember that I got the uh, Light Plus not too long after the Nano Plus, so I did all my After Dark Lightning shots with the uh, with the Light Plus instead. So I don't know exactly how the Nano Plus does, but uh, take off. Just gonna put the uh, Mini 3 Pro in the air here. We'll get it way up into the air here, so we don't have to hear the props too much. And I will start shooting if I can. Still got to get used to this drone again. I've got bug spray on too, so... Uh, hope that works. See, I'm going to go down on exposure compensation because... Uh, oh, there was some lightning on camera there. Just distant stuff. Drone is about 56 meters in the air right now. And I'm going to turn around here. There's a nice full moon for you. I don't know if you can see it. Swatting bugs away as, as we speak. And right over the yonder is a formerly severe thunderstorm. I don't know if it still is. Just saw a couple of little flashes of lightning on camera there. Not sure if you saw it or not, but you should have. But we've also got new storms forming, and I'm trying to see if I'm aimed at those storms. I'm not sure which direction I'm facing right now. Okay, where's the moon again? Ambient light too low, you don't say. Okay, there's the moon. There's a cloud building up right there, kind of. I don't know if it's going to do anything. It might. There is fairly strong BRN shear that's going to be showing up in the next couple of hours, I'm hoping. But uh, this right here, this is a cloud I'm kind of watching. This might be building. So I'm kind of waiting to see what happens with that. I'm not sure if I'll be staying here or not, but uh, yeah, I might go down into town. There's a town just uh, off in the distance here. Let's see if I can show you right there, center of the screen. There's a town right there. So uh, I might be in that town later. We'll see. I don't have my... Uh, D800 set up right now for lightning shooting. I'll do that when I've got reason to use it, but uh, yeah, there's lots of lightning flickering over there. Happy this makes me. So I've got one of the extended range batteries in the uh, Mini 3 Pro right now, so should be lots of battery life. 37 minutes or so, according to the uh, controller here. Let me go even darker on the exposure compensation so you can actually see the lightning flickers a little better. Yeah, there's some. Most of that lightning is down at the U.S. border, so uh, not really a way for me to get there at the moment. 
Oh, check that out. That cloud is building. We could be getting some flashes of lightning out of that thing. And I can't think of any good abandonments around here that I can shoot at, except for maybe this farm here. However, I don't know who owns this farm. This one right here. I don't know who to ask for permission to shoot there, so I'm not going to bother. There's really not much there anyway. All right, we'll keep watching, see what happens. But yeah, really not much happening now, I would say. Everything's really too far away at the moment, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I think I'll just go ahead and bring the Mini 3 Pro in for now, and we'll pick back up when something gets a little closer. Okay, folks, for this update, we're gonna just use the uh, Action 3 for a moment. Remember that storm I was thinking might actually fire up and do lightning? Well, it's doing lightning. It's not very energetic yet, but it's that one right over there. I hope you can see what I'm pointing at. I don't know for sure. Because I've got you all around my neck right now. We'll stand here and watch it for a bit. See if it lights up for us. Ooh, that was a nice bolt from that other storm back in there. I don't know if you saw it or not. Probably you did, because this is quite a wide angle of view this camera has, but uh, yep, there it goes. Just saw it right there. But yeah, that might give us some footage later with the uh, Nano Plus. I'm not putting it up yet. I'd like it to get a little bit darker first, but uh, things are looking good for lightning tonight. and. Uh, should mention that this storm to the northwest over there, that one is doing lightning. I just haven't been watching it because it's moving away from us. It's basically no good to us. But uh, it's this wall of black right there that I'm kind of hoping will fire up and do lightning. I'm not sure if it will because most of this is the anvil from uh, that storm back in there and I just saw cloud to ground lightning right over there. That cloud is working for us. Possibly I should have the D800 out and shooting that. So let me shut you off for a minute or five or 10 and uh, I'll try and get a few shots out of that storm. I don't mind being out here in the middle of nowhere just shooting random fields. Doesn't all have to be abandonments and such for me. But yeah, let me get the D800 out and I'm gonna shoot that. Well, folks, I haven't had much luck trying to catch a bolt out of those clouds over there. So I'm thinking maybe it's best if I put the Nano Plus in the air and try to get video of lightning. It's just a little bit too bright out yet for the D8. Well, of course, as soon as I say that. Big lightning bolt way over there. So I guess I need to aim the camera that direction. I will try to get some more lightning with a D800. I've got the, the lens all the way at 70 something millimeters right now. Should check my focus here. There's a light source. All right, focus is good. I'm gonna go up to 10 seconds on the D800. And I think it is just about time that I put the Nano Plus in the air. 
it's good with low light but it's not so good that i want to do this at uh, complete pitch black conditions either at least not just yet I might be low on battery, but I'm not that low. All right, give me a second here. I gotta put the uh, the phone in the controller. Not a big fan of Autel's controllers, but they are what they are. All right, wait for the GPS to sync up. Trigger the D800 while I'm at it. I've just got my little remote around my neck here. Of course, I didn't catch anything on camera. That's fine. All right. Do the same thing I did with the uh, Mini 3 Pro. Hope I'm shooting 4K. I'm not sure if I am. It is awfully dark now. Actually, let me shut it off and double check here. Yes, I am shooting 4K. All right, recording again. That figures just as soon as the uh, the D800 finishes shooting, there's a big bolt of lightning and I can't catch it. Tempted to go into machine gun shooting mode with the D800 here. Gonna go smooth mode here with the Nano Plus. Yeah, I'm thinking it's not too likely that uh, the Nano Plus is gonna get much in, uh, in terms of really low light. That I caught with the D800, I know I did. But it's not very distinct. Of course it isn't, it's not a big bright bolt. It's got to be a big, bright bolt. Come on, nature, cooperate with me. I'm just going to go in the other direction here with the uh, Nano Plus, and I'll show you what's going on over yonder. Not too much. That storm right there continues to drift away. There are some clouds there. They aren't really building, so I don't know if they're going to do anything, but uh, let's go back to where the action is. Oh, I like that. We'll get the moon in the shot. Yeah, maybe I should have brought the, uh, the Light Plus out here with me. That's okay. I didn't have time to uh, charge the batteries in the Light Plus anyway. Now I know I got that lightning bolt with the uh, drone, but I don't think I got it with the D800. No, I didn't. Just checked it. So 
Still got the bugs in my face. Okay, I got a little bit of a flash in the D800 there, but still nothing special. Storms are not active enough to be throwing massive amounts of bolts down to the ground. Which I kind of knew was going to happen anyway today, but... I just had to get out and shoot, is what I had to do. Now, can I get any more light whatsoever out of this uh, drone? Probably not. This might be all she's got in her. So yeah, I'm gonna say, well, the, uh, the Nano Plus easily beats the Mini 3 Pro for low light shooting. Neither one of them beats the uh, Light Plus. The Light Plus is just too much of a beast with its little one inch sensor. Or not so little one inch sensor, I should say. I'm gonna pull back on the uh, D800 to 35 millimeters now. I know you can't see what I'm doing on the ground because I'm shooting with the uh, drone right now, but I'm also shooting with the Action 3 Pro right now, so uh, I might cut back to the footage from that camera real quick just so you can see what the D800 is doing. For a minute there, my remote wasn't triggering the D800. I don't know, that camera's getting so old now. The battery it came with is already toast. I got the camera in 2016, so it's been with me a while. Of course that wasn't on camera. At least not with the D800. Seventy-seven percent battery on the Nano Plus. It's doing all right. Still, absolutely nothing to the west. It's all to the south. I'm still waiting for a bolt on camera. I'm just not getting it. I've seen a couple. I just can't get them on camera. Ooh, and I just saw lightning over yonder. Ooh, that was a nice flicker of lightning from that storm off to the east. I just went up to 20 seconds on the D800. It's still focused back where we were looking at before. I just want to see if we can get any more flashes out of that storm to the east there. With the uh, drone. And there was a little bit from that storm to the southeast. Oh, and I think the D800 just caught something. Come on, D800, show me. Uh, it did catch something, but it was really kind of lame and weak yet. I'll go back down to 15 seconds on that. And I'm going to turn the drone back to where we were so you can see exactly what I'm shooting again. That's going to be the shot there. That area. And I'll keep shooting as long as I can. Just 
had to look up for a second there to see exactly where the uh, drone was even though I haven't really moved it any it's maybe 60 meters in the air right now almost directly above us I am going to move it forward just a bit so it's over the field in case it crashes Oh, that was a nice lightning bolt. I hope you all saw that. I know I didn't shoot it. Oh, that was nice. We're starting to get the good contrast for, uh, for the D800 here. I still need more cloud to ground bolts out of that storm if it can give me such a thing. I have no idea what this footage is looking like right now off the uh, drone. Fifteen minutes of battery left. We're doing all right there. And I'm just checking the uh, Ooh, I got a lightning bolt on the D800. Finally! It's not much of a lightning bolt. I need to uh, zoom back in. And checking my focus, it's fine. I will keep shooting the D800 as long as I can. Starting to get good footage with the uh, drone. I think. I think it's getting better footage than the D800 is right now, honestly. But digital film is free, or cheap anyway, so it doesn't matter. Starting to have more issues with the remote on the D800 again. I'm kind of panning around the uh, the drone so you can see all the way around here. Oh, I got another lightning bolt on the D800. Das ist gut. And yeah, we had a fairly nice sunset. Ooh, double lightning bolt on the D800. I gotta point you back at that storm because it's getting good now. That's a pretty distant lightning bolt, or double lightning bolt, I should say. Fifty-two percent. Oh, that was a nice one. How many bolts did I catch on the D800 that time? I got... Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta love it. And I'm probably going to have to bring in the uh, drone soon, because it's getting too dark for it to shoot now. That's kind of what I was afraid of. The light plus, I could keep going with its super night modes and all that stuff, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it up there for a little bit longer. Still got 49% battery. Oh, nice. I loves me some lightning shooting. Even though the lightning was kind of out of the uh, frame of the D800 on that one. Time to zoom out.
All right, I'm down to 45% battery now, 44%. So I am going to bring in the uh, Nano Plus and stop shooting for a while. At least stop shooting video for a while. And then if there's something else to show you on camera, I will. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.